Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode of RuneCast 07, the podcast that you listen to while you scape. I'm your host, Gometical, and sadly, we aren't going to have anybody else on the first episode just because I couldn't find anybody. I was going to have a co-host named Katsuo RS, that's his YouTube channel name, on here, but sadly, he's too busy with in real life stuff, and he hasn't been posting at all on YouTube for a while, so... I didn't want to keep postponing this upload, and I just decided that I'm going to do it by myself, which isn't really the end of the world, but of course, uh, I think you guys and myself would have preferred if we could get somebody else on the show, but I'll pull it off by myself, no big deal. Anyways, uh, like I said, I still need uh, people to invite on this show, I do want to have some guests on here, but it's kind of hard because... YouTube-wise in the old-school RuneScape community, people either have 1,000 subscribers, 15,000 subscribers, or 100,000 subscribers like SparkMax, so it's hard to find people to network with on here, and also I'm probably one of the only people with uh, around my subscriber range who actually posts videos often. And also before we get into the discussion, I just want to let you guys know that if you did enjoy this, then please leave a thumbs up, comment, maybe even a favorite, because I need to know know if this is worth doing because I spend hours getting all this gameplay and footage for the podcast and also thinking of all the topics and what I want to discuss and even in the future gonna have to get some guests on here so I want to know if this is worth doing so if you guys do enjoy this and you gotta let me know by leaving a thumbs up comment favorite subscribe you know whatever because um yeah like I said it's a lot of effort that I put into this and also um I read pretty much every single comment and I respond to most of them. So yeah, please leave a comment and tell me what you think. So let's get into the topics for this video. What I'm gonna be covering today is um, the new continent, bounty hunter worlds and craters, the artisan skill, and some other stuff. So the first topic, like I said, is the new continent. And um, this is said to be 50% of the way the RuneScape world is now, so 50% of that size, so it's gonna be fucking big. And they're gonna be adding like a Colosseum, this port, and you're gonna have to like cross a sea in order to get there. So I just wanted to make some suggestions that I thought up of for this continent because there isn't too much information about it yet, and they did want people to send in their suggestions, but sadly, I don't think Jagex is ever going to hear about my suggestions, but I just wanted to make them anyway. So uh, the first one that I would want to suggest is uh, something called the Forestry Guild. So this is kind of a unique idea. In order to get into the Forestry Guild, uh, well, let's just discuss what it is first. Basically, it's an area near a bank, you know, um, where there's a ton of good trees that you can chop from and a lot of space for fire making and stuff like that because um, if you want to find somewhere good to, like, woodcut and stuff, they're all in different places. And, like, say magic trees, for example, there's not really any magic trees near a bank. And the reason why this won't be like overpowered or anything is because you would have to have a requirement of 180 total skill in woodcutting, fletching, and fire making combined, which I think is pretty fair. And also it would give people a purpose into doing these skilling skills, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's just one of my suggestions. Another one is something called the smithing guild. And the good thing about these guilds is they take up a lot of space and you know, there's something new that has never been thought up of before or whatever, but uh, for this guild, you would need to have at least 60 smithing, and the good thing about it would be it's near a bank, and there's a furnace and anvil right next to each other. There's nowhere in RuneScape right now where there's a furnace and an anvil right next to each other, so I think this is going to be pretty good, because who the fuck does smithing anyways? Like, I don't even think I've seen, like, two smithing capes. Maybe I've seen one on old school RuneScape, so I think smithing needs to be more popular of a skill. The next suggestion that I have is some good monsters for training range, like, I honestly do not know of any good monsters for training just range with a bow, like, if you want to train train range and get good XP, you're going to have to do chinchampas and stuff like that, and not everybody wants to spend that much money. Some people don't mind a little spending a little bit more time and uh, not as much money, so, I mean, I would just recommend a good monster for training range, but that's not really uh, too big of a suggestion, and the next one is a player-owned house portal in this new continent. I think that would be really good. Um, and this would require 60 construction. So yeah, and the good thing about this is, you know, you have a fucking house in the new continent and 
if you don't have this, then there's not really going to be a good way to get there, really, unless they add some new teleports. So, yeah, the next thing is a spot for gargoyles, where the gargoyles are close near close to each other. Like, if I go into, what, the Slayer Tower in, like, Canifis or whatever, you go up to gargoyles, and first of all, there's always a person in there. Like, you can never find your own world. It's really hard to do. And also, the gargoyles are so spread apart that it kind of makes it an annoying task. Like, literally, I get gargoyles every other task from Duradel, which, I mean, I'm not going to consider it a bad thing because they are good XP, but they're just not AFKable, and I don't really like that. But that's all my recommendations for the new continent. Uh, I don't really know too much about like what they're going to be adding onto it. Like I said, there's not really much news, so I just wanted to give my suggestions. And uh, I know they're talking about adding like a new Coliseum, which is kind of going to be like the dual arena, but there's still like not enough info for me to continue talking about it. So we're going to move on to another topic here, which is the new Bounty Hunter Worlds and Craters. Now. This is kind of a controversial topic because, of course, we would want um, Bounty Hunter to be added in the game. You know, I'm not even a PvPer, and I don't mind it being added into the game. You know, like, if it is added into the game, it's not going to neg negatively affect me, and it's going to positively affect other people. So, of course, I want it to be added into the game. But the problem is there's not enough people PvPing already in just regular PvP worlds or in the wilderness. So if you add this into the game, then it's gonna divide the PvPing population even more. And even like if I wanted to go PvPing, I probably wouldn't be able to find anybody. So I don't think we should be focusing on adding this update into the game yet. But if we were gonna add it into the game, I would go with the Bounty Hunter Worlds because if you added Bounty Hunter Creators into the game, I mean, I don't really know too much about them, but uh, Honestly, like, if you added a bounty hunter crater into every single world, like, what world are you going to go in to go bounty hunter, you know? So if they were going to add craters into the game, it would only have to be, like, in a specific world. And then in all the other worlds in the wilderness, you wouldn't have that crater. Um, but that would probably be really hard to do. So I think just um, for the sake of easiness and um, also, like, relevance or whatever, like easiness to find other people, Bounty Hunter Worlds would probably be a better option. But like I said, um, either of these, you know, we probably shouldn't be adding them into the game yet because we don't have a high enough population of people doing PvP. And I would love to do PvP and stuff like that, but I'm not really... I've never really PvP'd anyways because I've always liked having a high defense level and I know that's not good for PvPing. And also, I just uh, never really tried it anyways. So, you know, it's kind of like a snowball effect. The higher level I get, it's like... Um, the harder it is for me to start PvP because all people my level are already really good at it and stuff. And I would also need to get stuff like a fighter torso and all that stuff and barrels gloves, which requires doing mini games and questings. Uh, so that's not really something I want to do at the moment, but maybe I'll get around to doing it. I'll probably get raped in the first couple of weeks that I try PvP, but maybe I'll get good at it someday. Uh, but anyways, getting a little off topic here. The population, you know, we really don't have the population to be sustaining all of these new updates. And what we need to do about this is obviously advertise the game. Like, back in the day, how did people even find out about this game and start playing it? Well, um, I know that this game was a big thing on Miniclip back in the day, and also people just found it on Miniclip and then went uh, to tell their friends on at school and stuff like that, but like, you're not gonna go to school now, like, and you're in high school talking about RuneScape uh, 2007, so really Miniclip is, or something like that, is really your only option. So I think they need to go on websites and put advertisements out there about the game so we can get more people on here. And actually the population is already increasing. I noticed we have like, I'd say 20,000 people on the game at a time, but it's still not enough to sustain all of these new items and all of these economic changes and stuff like that that are being added into the game and all these updates. Like, if you look at the new clue rewards, pretty much all of them are worthless. So, I knew this would pretty much happen. So, that kind of sucks. And, like I said, what we need to do about this is advertise the game. 
we need to get it out there to new people who are noobs because like if you look at the economy now like say i'm doing gargoyles or something i get a granite mall drop and it's completely worthless because everybody's a high level on the game because most of the people who are playing it are people who have been long-term fans of the game there's not really any new people who just found out about runescape and they never knew about it before and they just started playing old school runescape you know so we kind of need to advertise the game out there i think i mean i don't really know completely how we're going to do that but i think it's something that needs to be done if we want to keep adding a ton of big updates in the game such as the new continent or else everything's just going to be worthless like all of the high level items and stuff like that they're all going to start crashing and the game's not going to be any fun for you know like grinding towards all of those high level items because everybody's going to have them so i think you know like i said we need to get more people on the game and that is what is going to allow the bounty hunter worlds and creators to be added into it. Because at this juncture, you know, we don't have um, enough people to sustain the PvP uh, community if we're going to split it up with bounty hunters. So, yeah. But I would want it to be added into the game uh, world wise instead of creator wise but you know it doesn't really matter what my opinion is on creators or worlds because I'm probably not going to be doing it anyways but you know I just wanted to give my two cents on it so the next thing is about the artisan skill and this is kind of the same thing with I, I noticed that a lot of people don't want this added into the game and you know I'm all for new skills and stuff but I think the reason people don't want it to be added into the game is that there are too many items that would be added like they're talking about two-handed crossbows and and combination runes, skilling bracelets, and farming clothing, and all these seem like decent ideas, but um, also it's not really complete a completed idea. I mean, there's not really any like beta for it or anything, they're just talking about it. And also, with all these new items, it kind of ties in with the same thing with the economy and the population, so we need to stop adding too many items onto this game and that's why I don't think a lot of people are gonna like the artisan skill and that's why a lot of people don't like it now but I mean if we were able to get the economy better and more uh, people on the game then I think it would be a decent skill but I mean we still don't know it yet because there's not too much information on it and I don't think people are willing to take such a risk with the game because it might kind of ruin it the next thing I wanted to talk about, since I already ran out of the topics that I wanted to talk about for the video, I'm just going to think of something on spot here, which is RuneScape 3 versus 07. And uh, a lot of people don't want something like the GE added into the game because they would say it's too much like RS3. However, this was actually added, I believe, in late 07 and early 2008, so I don't under understand people who say stuff like that, but let's talk about the new trading system that they want to add into the game anyways. Jeez, they want to add a lot of shit into the game. I think they just need to f keep focusing on one thing at a time. There's already like, what, five new things that they really want to push that are huge updates, so I think they kind of need to focus on one at a time. But uh, anyways, let's talk about this. So. A lot of people want there to be like communication within the trading and this makes no sense because if you go to world one now people are all using like uh what is it auto typers and you just trade people and you don't even usually get the price that you want also you go on zibes and you want to meet somebody so you can trade the item and all you guys do is you say how much do you want for this and then you give them the money and then you just trade like there's no the conversation doesn't go any further than that so saying that you want to have some sort of source some sort of social aspect to trading makes no sense because even if you are going to have this social aspect it doesn't really work anyways so um this kind of ties in because i want with the new what is it auction house yep that's what it's going to be called i want it to be like you don't have to meet up with them in the game you don't have to hop worlds and go all the way to where they're located in order to get your item like what like it is at zives like you should be able to go to your bank right and there is some interface that you can go through to where you guys trade and you're in different worlds and in different banks and it actually works out i think that would be really great and a huge time saver so yeah that's what i would want for the new trading system and what they're what would, what would be nice i think is like you know there's a list of people who are buying and selling it and you just click on it and then if they're online uh it sends it sends them like a message saying that somebody wants to trade with you and then you go into the inter interface at a bank 
and um, you guys are able to trade or something like that. So that's what I would want with a new trading update. And the next thing about RS3 versus 07 is the full screen mode that I made a video on. Now, I know they're not going to be able to actually make a full screen mode in a new hood, but at least what most people want, I mean, and I'm sure what most people have thought about is they want to have the client or whatever, or the actual game, be able to be the size of it be enhanced on the screen like you drag it out and it covers your full screen like no hood change you, there's not like a full screen option but you're just able to make it bigger on your screen because like I said in that video if you open it up right now on most people's computers it only fills up like one third of the size of their screen and if you want to get it actually full screen you have to change your screen resolution and a lot of people don't know how to do that and a lot of people don't want to do it because it's pretty tedious and you know you can't really fit anything else on your screen when you have it on full screen like that so I mean that's another thing that would be nice for them to add to 07 but like I said you know they kind of need to focus on one update right now like they're trying to push uh, artisan bounty hunter the new continent the new trading and a ton of other stuff and I think if we really need we really want to get something done on this game then we need to focus on one thing at once I mean I'm not to, I'm not saying that all these updates aren't good and stuff I mean I like all the updates I'm always for updates as you guys probably know but the game is just not ready for all of them at the moment. You know, like I said, we need to get more people on the game. Um, but let's talk about a new thing, which is legacy. Now, um, I know a lot of people like this idea and stuff, and I don't mind it really. But to be honest, I don't think it's ever going to work out because pretty much in any combat situation, either legacy mode or evolution of combat is going to be better than the other. And if you're trying to appeal to new players and one of them is always better, better than the other, or it's, you know, even split up, like PVP is better with legacy and PVM is better with uh, evolution of combat, like that is going to uh, confuse the fuck out of new players because they have to deal with two combat modes. I think it's actually easier for people to just focus on one combat mode, whether it be evolution of combat or like or uh, the previous form of combat. I was gonna call it legacy, but a lot of people say that it's a lot different, and I heard that a lot of the special attacks and stuff like that are messed up. So I don't really think it's gonna work, but it's not really something I have to deal with because I don't play RS3 anyways. Old school is the way I prefer to go and will probably always always go, but I'm not gonna go hating on people who play RS3 because I don't really give a fuck. I'm not trying to hate on RS3, but the economy in that game pretty much sucks dick and we need to learn from the previous mistakes that were made and actually Jagex on old school RuneScape is doing that. They make great updates and they always pull every single one. Some don't even need to be pulled like, you know, I'm talking about like simple quality of life updates, but they still pull them anyways because they need to make sure that everything they're doing is uh, good by the community so I don't really see how it's possible for the economy to really completely crash but we want to keep it as good as possible um, so that way you know eventually at one point you know bandos and stuff like that all that wealthy stuff like the BGS is what like six mil at the moment we don't want that that's you know an example of how the economy is kind of starting to crash because everybody's getting uh, to a high level and we don't have a ton of new people coming into the game so that's what we kind of need in the economy and the last topic that I want to talk about which is more like in real life sort of related but it still pertains to RuneScape is how I actually got into the game so back in the day I used to play Diablo 2 and if you don't know that game that game was the fucking shit I literally played it when I was like eight years old so I was playing like rated M games with a ton of fucking swears and blood and fucking combat when I was like eight years old and it was the fucking shit and then I played that for a couple of years I wasn't really good at it but uh yeah it was fun and eventually my cousin showed me RuneScape he lives in Maine and I live in Massachusetts and one time I went over and he had like um, all this mage stuff on and it kind of looked like Diablo. I'm like, what is this? And he's like RuneScape. So uh, eventually I checked it out. My brother also checked it out and he's two years older than me. Right now I'm 16 years old. I know a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that because 
um, I guess I'm such a fluid commentator or whatever, but uh, yeah, I'm 16 years old and my brother's 18. He needs to get a fucking job. He has no job and I'm getting a job at Dunkin Donuts in August. Um, so that's going to kind of cut away from my time. But anyways, back on the topic here, um, we both started playing it and stuff like that. Uh, I had an account for, I believe I started in, I think late 2006. And then I went to the beginning of 2011, which is when I quit. And I had 99 defense and 99 magic. But anyways, me and my brother would play the game and my brother eventually stopped playing after he like had like Addy stuff. He, he got banned actually because he did that free armor trim scam and I think it was like for Addy Plate Legs or something and it actually worked and then he got banned so he just never played the game again. But I still play this game. Uh, so I quit for like a couple of years and I had a Call of Duty YouTube channel and that didn't really go as planned because you know I was only like 13 and I was considered a squeaker but eventually it led to me being able to have good commentary skills so I don't regret doing that but um, I'm definitely glad that I started playing this game again. Um, I found out about this game, I believe, last uh, May or June, around there, and ever since then, I've been like gaming all the time. I did take a little break for a while, I think, uh, for like maybe two months or something like that, and that's why I had like a low amount of uploads because I was playing Minecraft. And um, actually, another reason that I quit in around 2010 and 2011 was because I found Minecraft and it was a game that I always like dreamed of playing like I always kind of thought it would be an awesome idea to have a game where you could just build shit and stuff like that and I finally found Minecraft I'm like this is exactly what I wanted and I found that game and I played it for a couple of years and I still play it to this day but not really too hardcore I don't play on any uh, multiplayer servers and stuff like that but every now and then I'll be bored and I'll just play on my own world but uh I actually had that game in pre-alpha so it's kind of cool to say that I had that game before pretty much every, sing every single other person and now it's like what has like 20 million people playing and it's like one of the most pl played games ever but yeah that's my history with all my gaming and stuff like that and me on YouTube so hope you found that stuff interesting and uh, next week uh, on July 17th through July 25th, I'm going to be having a vacation to Montana, and you might be wondering what is over there, and it's just my family and stuff like that, so I'm going to be going to Montana on a plane, I'm going to be skateboarding around places and stuff like that. I'm not the greatest skateboarder ever, but I can do a couple tricks and stuff like that, so give me something to do in Montana while I'm with my family, because really there's not much else to do there. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that and I will still have videos being uploaded because I have them pre-made and I will be able to do that because I uh, am partnered. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching the first ever episode of RuneCast, the podcast that you listen to while you escape. If you did enjoy this video, you gotta let me know by sending feedback so that way I will make more because if this doesn't get a lot of good feedback, then I'm probably not going to do it because it is a lot of effort uh, put in to make these kind of videos. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below by leaving a comment. Like I said, I read pretty much every single one and I respond to most of them. And also please leave a thumbs up and maybe even a favorite if you enjoyed it so much. And I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed. Peace.